Swaggy. It's a summer of signings at Derby County Football Club. With the new season only weeks away, head coach Paul Warren has been busy trying to build a squad to challenge at the top of League One. Josh Vickers, Joe Ward, Callum Elder, Curtis Nelson, Connor Washington and Sonny Bradley all arrive in time for the Rams' opening friendly fixture. As we get ready for the first pre-season match and it takes Derby just up the A6 to Matlock to Causeway Lane, home of Matlock Town. And now Ward with a cross, what a ball that is! And put away by James Collins. That was magnificent. And now it will drop and put away beautifully by Radcliffe. And there goes the uh, the full time whistle. No need for lengthy additional time here. A good workout for Derby. The hard work continues out in Spain. But Kane Wilson meets his new teammates and new boss for the first time. To welcome the two teams, Derby County against Salford City, the Rams' second pre season friendly of the summer. Crossman coming in. It's Nathaniel Mendes Lang back from international duty. And it's met by James Collins. There's nothing the goalkeeper was going to do about that. This preseason isn't only about new faces. The club's longest serving player, Craig Forsyth, is celebrating his testimonial yeah, year, having spent a decade well, and counting with Derby County. Hello, how are we? I'm all right, mate, you? Living the dream, living the dream. Hi. sponsored Sheffield Wednesday last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you just sponsor them for one year? Yeah, one year, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And they went up. You guys are this season. And then you could just see it. Substitution for Derby County. Number three, Frank Forsyth. Anything to a point, and I'll leave you lot to it because it's like we're the old people. Thanks for making it a good day, and they've got a win, and it's all good after that. Woo! That was great! Woo! <laughs> well, it's just on behalf of the players, a uh, little gesture, um, signed shirt. Um, yeah. Ten years at the club, unbelievable achievement. <laughs> and hopefully, we'll get the promotion that you want this year. And you know, hopefully, we'll get that for you. You know, because I know you're dying for it. So fingers crossed. But little gesture from everyone. And there is the final whistle that brings Derby's pre-season campaign to a close. It ends in defeat to Premier League Sheffield United. It was a really good contest, an unlikely source. Corey Smith's goal on 58, Bennett 1-1. But two goals in less than a minute.
made it 3-1 to the visitors. And that is how it's finished. And for the new season, Derby have a new captain, voted for by his teammates. Uh, well done. Uh, only about three spelling mistakes. I won't embarrass anyone on the spelling mistakes. Massive round of applause. Thanks to everyone who voted for me, I suppose. Um, you know, it's, a, it's a big honour. For the ones who didn't, I'll sniff you up. Um, <laughs> After all this, <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no, look, uh, like the gaffer said, I'll be uh, driving standards and doing everything I can on and off the pitch. And if anybody needs anything, um, you know, away from football or spelling the ground, anything, um, I'll honestly be here for you. So everyone, uh, yeah, thanks again. Giving people such a high is amazing. So for me to give the dressing room, to be part of something, so it's a very small part of something amazing that could please the dressing room, plus 30,000, plus another 60,000 who don't come to every game, whatever the case may be, is amazing. It is. How does managing Derby differ from managing Rotherham United? Andy Shore in Kilburn. I think through the week... Uh, like the training facilities and everything you have is amazing. We have more staff here, so there's more, you know, more help. So that, and I think uh, the away following here is something else. Like, and in fairness, I've been involved in professional football for nearly 30 years, but um, the Port Vale away game is something in my top three of all time, and that's even including playing, which is significantly more fun than managing. Oh, and the other thing which is strange is that you get asked for your autograph on the way in to home games. <laughs> Like we just laugh and go, this is surreal. This has never happened in my whole career. So I find that different, in a nice way, different. Uh, and there's always a gentleman who kindly gives me a cake. Uh, and there's the same uh, people there who are kindly welcome you every week. So that's that's quite a nice touch. The level of support here is phenomenal for a League Three. Are you going anywhere else in the world? Germany, France, Spain, Italy. There is not a League 3 team that has 30,000 people come and watch on a Tuesday night. There isn't. Ben's got in touch on the WhatsApps and says, what is Paul most proud of implementing at the club since coming in? So I think I've signed people who have come here for something to prove. We've tried to change the feel of the training ground to inject a bit of fun, a bit of um, pride to the place. So we have loads of things going on and... Like, you know, there'll be pictures of the fam players' families up and all that they don't know about yet. But And the wind walls and all that. And I'm just trying to put smiles on people's faces. We've part, played a part in producing a culture that people should be proud of, that, you know, that the lads are going to do more in the community. They were just trying to push on top of trying to p play really exciting football that people like watching. I'm just proud of the group we've put together. I'm proud of the, the lads are proud of the Derby badge. I'm proud of the fact that they all turn their kit the right way around for the kit man now they never used to do. I'm proud of the fact they don't walk on the team badge because they show respect. I'm proud of the fact they're not allowed to use their phones all around the building. It drives me insane. I'm proud of the fact no one's ever late for the meeting. Last year it was a casual 10.30 meeting. They'd turn up at 10.30ish. Um, I'm just proud of all the little wins we've had that hopefully produce a team that's uh, in a really good position to do something amazing. That's what I'm proud of. So tonight we are publicly launching our new identity colours and our Moments That Mattered part of the new tunnel. So the new identity project was launched around a month ago and it's all been about bringing some colour into a black and white football club. So the six key colours that you can see behind me have all been inspired by our kits from over time. So we've played in a lot of different colours and there's ones that have had certain resonance and meaning um, depending on what we've achieved in them. And we've had a lot of help from uh, Rams Heritage Trust and the Derby County Collection to sort of inform our decisions and just yeah, bring a splash of colours. The months of waiting are finally over. The schedule has handed Derby County a home fixture to kick off the new season. Wigan Athletic are the visitors to Pride Park Stadium. For yourselves and your players, now they're responsible for yourselves to walk after the behaviour of your players on your side. So for you guys, last year, nothing. You know, you didn't want to be spoke to you last year. You know, with Rich, in terms of how much we're running on, this exact time, as soon as the old ball is the back of the net, we are then stopping the clock, and that will then be added along with everything else. That's the more time you guys celebrate, the more time we're going to have. Thanks, Brian. It's now time to make some noise and welcome out your two teams. Wigan Athletic. Led by your new skipper, Donna Harahan. Dirty, dirty!
from a fan's point of view, I just hope you really enjoy the season. Look, I say this to my players all the time, look, life's too short. Football seasons are over in a heartbeat, like last year went in a heartbeat. So just enjoy it for what it is. It's an emotional roller coaster where you know that everyone at this football club is doing everything we can to get promoted. And if you can stay with the team more so when things aren't going well, being at home and having the fan base behind you gives the lads a massive boost. So if you can enjoy it, we'll do everything we can for a successful season. And um, hopefully I'll do an interview in the end of April, May, where everything's groovy. Derby won't have a shorter trip geographically this season than the one they've made today, but forget mileage this afternoon. Neither of these two sides, of course, have picked up a win yet this season. We are only a week in and two games in, but a big afternoon for both of them. Ball is delivered in towards that near post area, and it is in! And Derby do have the opening goal of the game. in towards that near post area and headed in past Jamal Blackman and Burton Albion nil, Derby County one and that is the platform this team wanted. Possession is lost by Burton Albion. Connor Harahan to Max Bird. Harahan motors forward as well. Bird inside the penalty area now. Still with Max Bird. Harahan! And the new Derby County captain Marks his appointment with a goal that doubles Derby's advantage at the Pirelli Stadium. It's Burton Albion nil, Derby County two. Carry on. Nearly a miss. Well, it was a misplaced pass actually. Washington through the middle. So is Ward. Here is Ward. They're lining up with Waghorn and Washington trying to get there. Third goal of the game. It's done and dusted now. Bad mistake in the Burton Albion defence. And Derby capitalised on it. They penalised the home side. It's Burton nil, Derby three. There is the full-time whistle. James Bell brings this match to a conclusion. And it was a hard-fought victory, but very importantly, it was a victory in the end. James Collins open the scoring early on, but if Derby thought they were going to have it all their own way this afternoon, they were very wrong because Burton gave them some huge scares at times, but then in the remaining 15 minutes or so of this game, Derby really put the contest beyond doubt. Opening day may have come and gone for the men, but for the Derby County women, the excitement of the occasion still lies ahead. And for the U's, this opening day is more special than ever. The team is now a fully integrated part of Derby County Football Club. Ahead of tonight's training session, Chief Executive Officer Stephen Pearce has come to Moor Farm to speak to the squad. by trustees as it was, you are literally the same as every other employee or the other players that play for Derby County, which for us is massively important and uh, you know a huge step forward for us as a club and to give you the best support that we can, give you the access to these facilities, um, you know, access to all the different facilities we've got, the staff as well, um, aside from what we've had as normal. So I think for us, it's just we want you to feel part of this football club, part of the main football club as one club, uh, as we are the same as the academy players and the rest of the staff. So just to give you a massive warm welcome. And if you I'm going to be locked into areas to start with and then I'm going to build the practice, okay? So yeah, definitely. Look, I think we, we certainly built on last year. 
really important that we kept the majority of the squad, which, which we have done. So we've got some really good foundations to build on um, and the five that we've brought in have really fitted in well, but a lot to the pitch, um, off the pitch as well. So excited to see those grow into the team. Um, and yeah, I think we're in a really good, good place at the minute. We, we want to finish as high as we can. Um, I don't think there's any hide in that. I don't think there's any team that don't go into the league wanting, wanting to win it, wanting to finish as high as they can. Um, we've got our own sort of targets and goals. We want to be that team that teams know that if they're not at their 100% game that uh, they'll be in trouble. I think when you start to compare yourself to full-time outfits in terms of full-time players, full-time staff, makes it hard. Uh, is it impossible? No. Um, we have to pick and choose our battles. We have to work really hard as staff outside of the hours that, that we're expected to do. Um, and I think that's one thing that you get from, from us as a group of staff players. We'll all put in the extra hours that, that's needed to make sure that we can compete with the top three, four. After taking part in Craig Fassad's testimony and subsequently being invited to train with the first team, Martin Waghorn pins a one-year deal with the Rams. The home game with Oxford sees him grab his first goal back in black and white. Moor Farm gets plenty of visitors. Today it's Northern League Division 1 club, Red Car Athletic, owned by the Rams' principal partner, Post and Stay. Firstly, welcome to the club. Um, feel free to use the facilities whenever you like, come down, play the games, great. I know we obviously have a relationship uh, going forward, but like, life is too short. Football careers are way too short. They are over in a f***ing heartbeat. So please enjoy every challenge you get and just give it your job lot. And just generally, because I played non-league till I was 23, so for the younger lads in the room, if you want to have a career uh, as a pro, appreciate there's some older lads as well, but uh, it's never over. And football's completely different to what it was when I grew up, that everybody watches everything. So if you're an outstanding player in this team, you do really well. It might not be, the next step might not be here, but it might be, respectfully, to a Hartlepool or something and you move on. So never give up. From, you know, from our point of view, like, we wish you all the best. And like now I've met you, although you're all looking at me funny, uh, I'll, I'll follow your results and see you get on. I just wish you all the best, really, that's all. Toward the penalty area, shot to the crossbar. Off a terrific save by Wild Smith.
So today we're at Ricknell Sports Centre. Uh, we're hosting one of our holiday camps, one of two, um, which we also host down in Belper as well. Uh, this afternoon we're doing some tournaments for the kids, so football tournaments. We've got loads of different nationalities that they can represent and then hopefully they'll go on to uh, hopefully win a trophy at the end. Kids obviously aspire to be like them uh, one day, so when they come over and say hello or give them a little high five, it means that it means the world to them. So yeah, it's great to get them involved. Uh, Runes has got a couple of assists as well, which is pretty good. Yeah, it's good. It's always good to come out and see like the local schools, all the kids enjoying playing football and stuff like that. So it's always nice to see, especially coming from like a, a big, a big family. It's where I grew up. It was like a small like arena like this where we used to play football every single day. So yeah, it, it gives you flashbacks and memories, which is good. So it's nice. Yeah, sometimes you just you forget like what effect you have on these little kids. So it's also good to, to see like see the smile on the face that you bring to them. So it's nice being here with them, to be honest. It's really good. It's been a summer of change at the Derby County Academy. It's been an overhaul of the coaching staff, led by new academy manager, Matt Hale. I mean, being at Southampton for, for a long time, I've come up against Derby quite a few times. Um, and the environment here, which I, I, I'm still getting used to, but it's a, it's a fantastic environment, you know, superb facilities, um, some of the best in the country. Uh, and I think that alone is a huge, huge attraction. But you, you also, once I'd met the owner um, and Stephen, and other sort of board members, I had a really good feeling of the type of people that are that are at Derby, and and if they reflected that, I was really keen to, you know, go to a club that that I enjoy working with those people, and and that certainly not disappointed me. I, f I found the people that we've got here, you know, incredibly talented, but but also very humble and. Um, yeah, nice people that you, you want to get up in the morning and spend eight hours every day working with. So um, I think through that process, I, I knew what I was coming into or I had a good feeling of what I was coming into. And, and that was very much important for me, leaving, leaving Southampton after a, a long time to make sure that, you know, if I was going back into football, it, it was the right club with, with good people. We meet weekly really as a football executive team with with um, the gaffer and myself. Flem will be involved in that now, Stephen the CEO, um, and, and heads of departments that are integral to, to a really cohesive sort of environment. So the doctors in that, the head of performance, the head of recruitment. So we've got, a, I think, a really strong group of senior staff, if you like, that are working hard together to, to you know for a common for a common goal success for the first team obviously um, but also trying to trying to give the, the the first team staff players that are ready for first team first team football the other thing is that there should be two new faces in the building today um, Chiris Fauna a midfielder uh, he was on loan at Reading last season from Forest, played at uh, Shrewsbury where I first sort of saw him and liked him, so he should be in the building, so if you see him today, please say hello. Uh, the other one is uh, Tyrese John Jules, um, centre forward at Arsenal, he was at Ipswich last year on loan. So if you see them, uh, they should be here at, uh, at two o'clock for a medical, however, as, as you well know in football, um, anything can happen between now and then. But just in case you see him, please say hello, right? With their new signings in the squad, Derby travelled to Peterborough United. The host pipped the Rams to the final playoff place on the final day last season, and have started this season well too. Just 
This is a team I guarantee you will be top six because they always are top six. You come here today, get a win, you put a marker down. Put a marker down so you can get amongst it. And it's one of them days that will be slipping, it'll be wet, it might be a mistake. Just be positive. If you're going to fail, fail because you are outstanding and brave and f***ing having a go. Don't fail because you fucking shrunk. You will make mistakes, I don't give a it's Go and get the ball. You make a shot, you make a cross, goes over, don't care. Go again, go again. Mistakes are fine, it's about the reaction to the mistakes. Use everything you've got, everything you've got. But remember, every single detail of every single game fucking matters. And you get the moments by competing. You get the moments by kicking in areas where you go and attack. You get the moments by making a double movement to come and get it. You will have them moments. Just give yourselves the opportunity. in life. Do we f***ing agree? Because yeah. Yeah. we're losing or drawing is a piece of piss. Are you playing yourself today and lose? Winners, if f***ing outside, f***ing luck. Come on. Yeah. Yeah.